I'm everywhere. I look so cute. Everywhere. Oh, look. I started a live video. Let me see. Oh. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 all right, so I realized, hey y'all, some people are gonna be sleep this late. So, this is hubby, and I'm me. I don't have no rumors right now, I'm doing my questions. Okay, so let's jump right into it, because he gotta go to work tomorrow. So basically what I did was tell everybody to post some questions that they wanted to see answered by a man and a woman of our age i'm 27 he 27 so basically we all 27 um so we'll start the first question dun 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 all right you can pick it mm -hmm. threesomes in a marriage so how do we feel about threesomes in a marriage you want to go first or you want me to go first these threesomes. Fairly straightforward. I mean, if you if both people consent, then you know, go for it. I say, if y'all gonna have a threesome, I want him or her to not be from where y'all from. If y'all have a threesome, let's say everybody from Cali. My threesome buddy gotta come from Nebraska. Hey, they gotta come from Nebraska. They cannot be from here. Like, it's no way possible. Because what if y'all walk into the grocery store? And you mm -hmm. see a threesome buddy. What y'all gonna do? Like, what's gonna happen? I don't understand how, how this is gonna work. So, a threesome is cool. You gotta be careful, too, because there's some psychos out there that put out this good vibe. Like, oh, I'm all about this threesome life. I'm gonna be quiet. And they end up being trying to be your baby mama and all that stuff. So, you gotta pick your threesome buddies wisely. Now, it's some people out there that's so holier than thou. And they don't believe in threesomes in their marriage. I seen. So I hear you talking like you got like a lot of experience in this area. I don't I, remember having a threesome. <laughs> Wait, I've never had a threesome before. I'm just saying from what I what I've read. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't had a threesome before. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a threesome, by the way. But I'm just saying, I seen people getting on Tiana Taylor about having a threesome with her husband, but that's her husband. If that's what they prefer and that's what they like, then cool. As long as they don't end up like Ti and Tiny. My turn to pick a card. How does hubby deal? Oh, how does he feel about me having this page? Is that a question for me? Mm -hmm. You know how I feel. I don't know how he feel. How do you feel about me having this page? You know what? Uh, she up and coming. She she got a lot of followers. You know, but uh, her followers, you know. Keep y'all distance. I don't need no thoughts in her inbox. <laughs> no male thoughts. You know, I get a... Mm, I got my issues, you know. And uh, I just, I just, you know. I, it's okay. I, I'm proud of her overall. Though I, I think she came a long way. I was there when she had... Now my face all sticky and shit. Oh, sorry. Uh, but I was there when she had, you know, one follower, and his name was Kyrie. So, <laughs> he was my follower. <laughs> <laughs> and I just seen seen her come a long way. So, you know, of course, who am I to stand in the way of her dreams? I'm there to support her, you know, and I got to be ready for whatever comes our way. Oh. You said what happened with T.I. and Tiny Beyond Fabulous? Fabby. Uh, you know, they had, they was having their threesomes. They had frequent threesomes with different people. And one of them got too sloppy and started posting pictures. And th that's how the, their marriage began to crumble because their threesome partner started running her mouth. That's all. Yeah. Do we get annoyed with each other? And how do we fix it? Well, let's see. We square off in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, I think we do get annoyed with each other because literally everything we do, we do together. We have four children. Um, the only things we don't do together is he go to work, you know. Um, but we, we get annoyed with each other because it's when you see somebody every day, all day, you know. But if... 
I'm already annoyed. <laughs> what? If you love somebody, then it's just natural. Like now, like we went through stuff. Now I kind of just like want him home all the time with me. But then when he here and he start getting on my nerves, I'll be ready for him to go to work. But I didn't know that. That's cool. I'm sorry. We do. I don't know how we fix it. It just kind of happens. We kind of just. Square off in the living room. We don't square off in the living room, y'all. No, we don't do that. Uh, We don't. We don't. Okay. I put all my weight on him until he stopped getting on my nerves. Is that what you mean? No. Oh, okay. So how do you handle when you get annoyed with me? We say we love each other. Then we make up. You know how we make up. You know how everybody make up. You know. Oh, my God. What? Yeah. They not dumb. You you say you love her, and as a man, I, I say I love her. And she say she love me back. You know that uh whole thing. I'm sorry, baby. You was right. Anybody, any man was ever raised, uh, <laughs> with the the you heard that saying the woman is always right. She always wrong. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say <laughs> I was right. <laughs> so yeah, we just we just uh. We fight it out, that, but not like. Yeah, we fight it out. I, no, <laughs> it's no sugar for them. But we love each other though, so. Yeah, that's why we fight it out. If you don't fight with your partner, it, y'all y'all haven't made it through y'all rough spot yet. There's no such thing as a relationship without a fight. <laughs> I love him and he loves me. That's all that matters. And he supports the hell out of me because nine times out of ten, I'm on my phone all day, every day. And when I'm not posting lately, I haven't been. It's because school just started back and I'm getting up at 5, 45 in the morning and I'd be tired. I'd be trying to take a nap because I still have a little one that does not go to school. And I have one that gets out at like 11. So I'd be trying to get my sleep in where I can. Then I'm running to the school, then running back to school, then cook dinner. And then when he get home, I kind of just want to spend time with him. But I can't forget about my followers and Posting stuff, because the moment you stop posting stuff, the moment your followers go down. Next question. Gossiping to your family about others' relationship, George. So if, the question was, if um if you guys have someone in your family that gossips to another member of your family, how do you handle that about your relationship? Swear off the living. I'm telling you, go head to head with your mother-in-law, your father-in-law, whoever it is, your sister-in-law. Now, uh, we talk about it amongst ourselves, and I always say whatever go on in our household is what go on in our household. Yeah. Um, we've been together for quite some time now, and it took a long time for us to get to this part, point in our relationship where... I'm literally putting her first before everybody. I love my mom to death, but hey, you know, I, I've, I've made my own family and I, I've grown as a man uh, since I've been, you know, with her. So uh, it's just, yeah, like like she said, we just, uh, we just kind of put our all into what's going on in our household. We can't really control you know, my mom, her mom, uh, our cousins, our sisters and brothers, you know, so that's pretty much it. I think a lot of people mess up because we messed up at this point, too, because we were together when we were younger, like still in teens, kind of, sort of. Uh, we think we can't love one without loving the other more. Like, you can't love your mama and love her or him, like, equally or whatever, and you can. It's just boundaries that have to be set. And now we have our own family, so the boundaries are this household comes first, anything else after, that follows. So that's kind of how you do that. And if they want to talk about you, so what? I be saying they just jealous because they ain't us. That's all that is. That's exactly what I say all the time. When the love is there, but the sex is not. You right, uh, because... It is very tough in the beginning, and you have to actually. This, let me see what he told me. He said, "What did you say? You're not gonna get along with everybody, or everybody not gonna like each other, but you gotta find it one person you willing to like 
to rough it out with. Like, oh, you ain't gonna never find like, you know, that perfect person that meant to be. You gotta find somebody you're willing to put up with, <laughs> like put up with the bullshit with. Like, no matter who you with, you are gonna find different problems in every relationship you go into. You just have to find that one that's worth those problems, that's worth those fights. I wouldn't trade any fight I've had with her for the perfect life with someone else because it's it's not possible to find that perfect life. Um, it's it's only possible to find the per- perfect partner to fight the uh, problems in life. I love him. Why do you sound like we from Texas? <laughs> I love him. <laughs> so what was yours? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. When the love is there, but the sex is not. So technically. We had to pre-answer this one. <laughs> I answered this one before we got on the line. Uh, okay, so let me answer that question. Just from what I think, because we always have sex, so I don't know. Well, damn, you went pretty. <laughs> like, I was just saying make up, but I ain't saying oh. nothing about no sex. I was uh, talking about a handshake or some shit. Like, now you just throwing it out there. I feel like in the beginning, in any part of the, your relationship, if your relationship is real, if you tell your partner that you want to be celibate, they should support you. And if they don't support you, then, eh. I feel like you can love somebody and not have sex with them. Maybe everybody's reason is different, but it's probably because you're saving yourself a marriage. I don't know what your reasoning is because i I just been having sex. So I don't really know, but I feel like if you love somebody, it kind of go hand in hand, like, Sex is just there. I don't know how you love somebody and not have sex unless you're telling them, you know what? I want to just be celibate until celibate or celibate. Celibate? Hell, if I know, I'm just letting you talk. <laughs> celibate. You can text me. Shut up. No, not. Uh, celibate, you just, you you be that and you support that person um, because it could just be something that they believe in. You just, You never know. So... With that said, the question was... Shut up. Oh, hold on, hold on. When the love is there. It's my turn. Don't don't make me annoyed with you. (laughs) When the love is there, but the sex is not. And she talking about being celibate and shit. So we talking about when the love is there and the sex is not. We want the sex there, obviously. I mean, I I, 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 I got needs. Mm -hmm. I got needs, but... You got hands. And I got hands. Right. Yes. So... Of course, it's just that if she wants to be celibate, of course, I'm not going to put all that pressure on her. But at the same time, for her to be my partner, it's her, her job to consider my feelings as well. She wants to be celibate, and I don't. This is not true. Neither one of us are celibate. But, I tried. <laughs> no, you didn't. If you tried, you failed. And it's Horribly. because of you. You know, I'll just be chilling. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, uh, what do you call it? Them things that fly around with big white wings. An info? An angel. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Okay. (laughs) So, yeah, I mean, if she want to be celibate, we can go halfway. uh, Sex three days a week. (laughs) The other four days she be celibate. We got to be in the middle. Okay, fine. That's cool. (laughs) Okay. We got (laughs) to. I was going to say sex. In the nighttime, <laughs> but not during the day type of even thing. Well, yeah, that's every day. I'm cool with that. That's every day? Okay. <laughs> okay, next question. Mm-hmm. How to get your man to go to the market? Is this a woman's only task? This is not a woman's only task. Sometimes he goes to the store. A majority of the time he goes to the store. I only go when it's grocery shopping time or I want something that I don't think he's going to prove me having because I'm on pizza. But, yeah. Um, we go together, we go separately, uh... Yeah, but the question is, is how it, do you get me to go? Give him some. I don't know. how I get you to go? Babe, you want to go to the store? Well, after we... Um, I read one of the comments earlier. Uh, it says in the beginning it's hard. Ever. Lit, like, it, he actually pretty good about it, though, like, He's better than me. He's like, so, what do you call it? What's the word? I'm going to say on point. On point. Thank you. As I was saying. <laughs> uh, how do you get me to go to the market? I would just say I 
I mean, we've been together for a while, and I read one of the comments earlier. It says, "In the beginning, it's hard, but you get that understanding." And we we found they a, do. <laughs> we found a uh, a way to understand each other. Trust me, I did not like going anywhere. I would not leave the house as long as I got my PlayStation and some honey buns, maybe some Capri Suns. I'm good. We've gotten to this point in our relationship where, like, we just want to spend time together. Because when you're in love, you don't want to spend time with nobody. It be you, your kids, and your man, you know? And, you know, we at this point, because I feel like we haven't done everything, but we've been through what most people go through in an entire lifetime. And it has made us stronger than ever. So if we go into the grocery store just because we want to spend that time together, because he works every day. That That time is time spent together. If I go by myself and he at home, that's an hour or two we missing of each other. And I think, you know, sometimes he do it for me, sometimes I do it for him, and sometimes we do it just because we want to be with each other. How to get them to go, they just got to want to go. Or, I know, nothing at all. Uh, how to get them to go? Get sick, hell. I don't know. <laughs> when I'm sick, he go for me. When he's sick, I be, I be on his ass. I'm going to go get this and this and this. And he be like... I just need to sleep. But if they want to go, they want to go. Yeah, you're right. We, I want another baby, but we got to wait. <clears throat> Should have did that one. How to get a man to want another baby. That's the name of the movie. How to get a man to want another baby. <laughs> I got you. I don't know if a lot of females want other babies. Um, oh, you just added a question. I did. I don't think that one was on the card. Let me pretend to put it down. <laughs> like I said, we got four babies. We got three girls and a boy. And his whole thing was he didn't want another baby until we were stable and we were able to afford all of our children. We, When you have a baby, you automatically can just afford what you need. Like, at least in our situation, you just, we kind of make it work. It's like a rubber band and we stretch it around that third baby, that fourth baby, and we do what has to be done. Um, why, why, why are you considering another baby now? Well, not right now, but in 2020. Well, I definitely don't want one right now. Uh, we need a bigger spot. But I definitely want one. <laughs> I want <pussy>. More. One. More. <laughs> uh, hey, Miss Verna! For no particular reason. Yeah, our kids are cute. We With make. you, we got to throw that in. Oh, I mean, it's I easy to get another baby. Oh, hell. At least for me. But. Oh, hell. It's easy for me to get another baby, too. When I get my stuff un- un- unburnt and tied and dipped around and... Fi- what does that mean? He trying to play me, y'all. He trying to play me. Okay, so I had... Hey! You want a boy or a girl? Huh? You want a boy or a girl? Well, I, definitely a boy. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. We got three I mean, girls. I, I was proud of my girls in the beginning. But it's just, now nah, I got too many girls. There's too much going on. Too much testosterone. These attitudes are ridiculous. I can only deal with one woman in my life. Them other three. <laughs> them women right there. <laughs> <laughs> and they look, the, the youngest one, she like this tall. She, hey, her, her. Attitude. He do like we. I want another boy. Like I said, that when we started trying for another baby, I was gonna go go all the ways to have a boy. If the doctor tell me it's a girl, I'ma cry. I'm not gonna want to do this. I'm just gonna cry, huh? Oh, thank you. Somebody said we cute. Oh, uh, that's that's my friend that I told you about. The one in my phone. The other blogger in Vegas. Oh, that's dope. Uh. Is it okay for married? married. <laughs> is it okay for married folks to have separate checking accounts? <sighs> Look, all them girls, they gotta go, man. And I, we had the perfect pair. We had a girl and a boy, and then life just kind of happened. Is it okay for married people to have separate checking accounts? I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. In the beginning. Before we were here, I wanted my own. I wanted my own checking account. I wanted my own savings account. And my honest reason is because I didn't want to feel like he would leave me and I would be left with nothing. That's why. But now we have a joint account. That's what it's called. 
Yeah. Because he ain't going nowhere. He ain't going to leave me broke. Cosign. Huh? Cosign. Uh, okay. Because we've we've been in real life arguments, y'all, where any other man would have left, but he didn't. He he didn't leave, and if he left, he didn't take anything. And he's showed me through all these years. <laughs> I got out my own car. I got, he got out, out his my own, own apartment. I'm telling y'all, get y'all one of these. Like he literally, like we'll get into it. Get out and don't come back. Man, this ain't your house. But he get out. Like he leaves and sometimes, sometimes, we're sometimes we we done. We done being on that level. We done. But I swear off in the living room. I ain't swearing off in the streets now. But I think it's fine. Like I'm very comfortable now sharing our money, our accounts. But it, it wasn't easy at first. I didn't want it. It didn't like uh. You know, we ain't gonna lie. When we see other relationships, we talk shit. <laughs> so, we we go into other people's relationships. I I done met a couple people where they like, um, you know, and they married and everything. Uh, and no names. I met a few people, and they literally separate everything in the house. My TV. Uh, I bought that TV, so it's you know I get to watch that TV. They don't share the TV. I literally bought the TV, so it's mine. Or they, you know. If he don't pay the light bill this month, she ain't paying it. It's like only his. <laughs> Why we all in is so close? Oh shit! What's up, wavy? Yeah, I'm leaning so close because the word's so small. But yeah, I've been I've been seeing too much separation. It's better to come closer together than trying to separate each other. You either trust each other or you don't. I mean, at the end of the day, and I don't know. Uh, the original reason I wanted to share accounts, uh, she wanted it to do it for the longest time, but for my insecurities, <laughs> just knowing where she is, what she doing. I like to spend money, y'all. I yeah. ain't even gonna lie. I, I'm telling y'all now. I when because if I was working, we switch roles so I could focus on my blog. Hey Dante, he uh he was like, you know, you stay at home with the kids and you work on your blog full time. Mm-hmm. They scared the shit out of me at first because I felt like, oh, he just want to go to work so he can have all the money and I can't. Because when I was going to work, y'all, I get off and I go to the biggest beauty supply store and spend about a good sixty. My lunch be twenty dollars, and I'm at home eating. Ham. He at home eating. Ham, so I'm sitting at El Polo Locos, Chili's. I'm just big eating, and then I come home and the consequence of that is we gonna argue because. He's sitting in the house all day with the kids. And this was the summertime, y'all. So, so the kids was in school and then the kids was out of school. He's sitting at home all day with the kids. And you out spending money and blowing money. I mean, it's cool to treat yourself. We both treat ourselves. We treat our children and we treat ourselves. And then we treat each other, too. Um, but I feel like when y'all start playing. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, I feel like when. When. um when you separate your things, when you're in a relationship, there's always this this gap, this hole. Like, y'all don't trust each other. And we're rebuilding trust. I ain't gonna lie. We rebuilding trust. And it's going good. He's the type of man that's Googling everything, how to do the relationship like this, what just help. Mm-hmm. And we come up with certain things. Like, this is one of our bonding things, what we're doing right now. YouTube and Instagram, this is one of our bonding things. Yep. And this ain't his thing. Music is his thing. <laughs> this is not him. This is all me. But he doing it for me. And once y'all start saying, this is mine, this is mine, there is no comfortability in their relationship. I cannot trust you if I fall to have my back. If you say, right, you going to pay me back or this, that, and the other. Like, when I go to the store, he'd be like, and I'd be like, baby, I'm going to buy this. He'd be like, it's your money too. But it's, it's, it's our money. He let me know. So... Mm-hmm. Sharing an account is a good thing. Sharing everything is literally a good thing. I mean, I have some things that's my own, but money wise and stuff like that, I trust my husband. The earrings are the earrings, these are mine. Yeah. I trust my mm-hmm. husband. He's had my back and he's shown me that he's more than just my husband. He's my best friend. He's my friend. If we're not in a relationship when we broke up, he still got my back. 
the kid situation don't change. Nothing changes. I'm the emotional one. They be like, I'm leaving and I'm taking the kids. And he'd be like, you ain't got to go nowhere. You can stay here as long as you need to figure it out. Like, that's just the person he is, relationship or not. So, yeah. Sharing a checking account is a good thing. No, we had a pause. Now we got one more. How do we deal with flirting on social media? I already told y'all to keep y'all motherfucking <laughs> <just> not- <laughs> Nobody gonna be flirting with me, first of all. Shit. Nobody flirts with me. Unless y'all follow my personal page, then you might flirt me. Because your girl be on her looking fine. It's fun. Nah. Um, you don't have to down yourself. If, you somebody, if somebody was flirting with him on Instagram, first of all, I'm going to click her page. I'm going to scroll through to see if he liked anything. And then I'm going to get his phone and then I'm going to block her. Simple as that. And then I'm going to ask him, hey, who is this? Who is Tanise? I'm going to be like, I don't know. You blocked her. Like, <laughs> I'm going to say, who is Tanise is what I'm going to say. Whatever. Blossom, blossom. No more girls trip for him. But we legit like only had a few questions. That's it. I'm telling you, like super duper crazy. Like, who was that girl? It's crazy. Where the girl come from? Mm-hmm. Who how, how t- 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 like mm-hmm. I'd be so tell emotional. About the, uh, the prank I did on her. Let me tell y'all. Anybody know talk a tone? Let me tell y'all what happened. I was sli- he was gone to work, right? And I woke up to some text messages, and they were from this girl, or so I thought they was from some girl. Mm. And they was talking about how they had been in my house, they was sleeping with my man, and they was telling me he had work right now. Mm-hmm. And sending pictures. Sending pictures. Mm-hmm. And I was like, who the fuck is this? And so, I, I text him, I was like, call me. He was like, hold on. He kept saying, hold on. So it was pissing me off, but I was trying to act like I wasn't pissed off. He was like, hold on, hold on, talk to my man. Then when I called him, he sent me the voicemail. Mother, motherfucker. Okay, so I played the girl like, okay. Or if it was a girl, I was like, I'm not I'm not going to believe you. I know my man. I know he didn't do this. Like, I was not going to let her see me sweat. Like, I'm going to continue to say, he ain't doing this, he ain't doing that. But I was waiting on him to call. So then she told me, check my email. I checked the email. It's some pictures in there. Some Googled naked pictures. I was like, uh uh-uh. uh. So finally, yeah. finally, I called him and I told him, hey, this person was texting me and I started telling him everything. But then I caught on because he, when he writes, he do dot, 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 dot. Like after certain stuff. I slipped up a couple times. He slipped up and I know my man. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. Like I told him honestly everything that I said and everything. And then he, it ended up being him that he was playing on my phone. That's how yeah, you get blocked. She tried to soften it up. I caught her too. She tried to say somebody else is texting her and then try to beat around the bush. You know, <laughs> trying to make it seem like she ain't really looking to my shit. But, you know, she got I it. was. I, I ain't gonna lie. I want to know who she was. Mm-hmm. He and better not be talking to nobody else. And then I text her, I love you, um, from this girl that I made up. Her name was Tanise. Okay, he over here making up shit, mm-hmm. trying to get beat the fuck. That's what he's trying to, he trying to get beat up when he come home. Because, like, we've been into it, and he come home, and he be like, hey, go get straight in the shower. We don't talk. I eat dinner and stuff, and just go on about my business. And then I be like, I go in there and be like, you love me? Or I be like, hey, baby. And we ain't talked the whole time since he came in the house. Y'all got any more questions or anything y'all want to know? Uh, We're going to do this every Sunday and Wednesday. I was trying to hurry up and beat, you know, get to 10 o'clock because my kids was up and we was fixing dinner and we took a little nap today. So they kind of pushed everything off and we cleaned up Sunday clean up. Um, any other questions? Uh, on my page, I'm going to post like another post to say what y'all want to talk about or whatever. Or I might hit y'all with a topic like how to be a step parent or Shit. the feels of that. <laughs> Just, you know, because he's a step parent. Um, he, I have two children before him, my son and my daughter. So he is a step parent. Um, and a lot of young people our age don't know how to be step parents. So that might be one of those. Cause that's kind of something I want to hear about too. What? How to be a step parent. How you, you handle? You got the patience. Oh, <laughs> probably <laughs> I know, right. I know you. <laughs> Can you take this little girl home to her mama? Can you take this little boy home? Because mm. I don't have time. 
But uh, we have a YouTube channel, which is the only thing you're missing out of this right here is my children. But they in the bed. We ain't got time for that. that that's a no no. <laughs> I might do a live with them one day, but I got one that's over dramatic. I got a son that just he don't really care, and then I got two little ones that be all on the camera like this. Mom, what they say? You've been a step parent for 30 plus years. So, when you first did it though, were you okay with it? Like, were you just like freaked out? What, how did you feel when you first became a step parent? Like, you knew this was, you about to raise another woman or man's child? Right. That, and then uh, also, did you have a kid before the relationship? Because that plays a part too. Because if you just, you haven't been a parent at all, that's my situation. I didn't have any kids. So that plays a big part too. How long have we been married? He's such an ass. So we're getting married next year. <laughs> <laughs> Our wedding date is supposed to be March 9th, but I just came across this thing. I want to get married in 9, nine, nine 19. Nine. But anyway, we've been together uh, since 2011. The beginning of. The beginning of. I'm sorry. Yeah, you got to throw that in. The beginning of 2011. I'm talking like February. And in that time from 2011 to 2018, we have literally been through everything. That's what I'm talking about. Girl, give me Cyber 5. Boop. He reads so slow. I do. I do. Wait, you do read slow? Yeah. I just want to make sure I'm reading it right. That's awesome. Uh, how do you say? Is it Avern? He say Verna. 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 That's, that's, that's R why I read slow. Verna. Say Ver. Ver. No. No. Verna. Verna. I don't. <laughs> I don't know if I was that mature in the beginning, but hey, I, I made it work. I guess just like you did. That's, that's dope. That's awesome. I had a stepdad too. He's still in my life now. That's. I, that's my father. Uh, you know, I love him. He is very, very active. The kids started school the other day, and we're going to say he lived like an hour and a half away. Last year and this year, because they just started going to school here, he made it his business to be at the first day of school. Like, he took off work to be at the mm -hmm. first day of school. Had his little GoPro cam, his yes. GoPro shorts on. <laughs> Shirt tucked in, baby. <laughs> he had his pop swag on. But I mean, like, he was there until we all left. He didn't leave at all. He was just there. And that step pop off. So, any. I know that's right. I like that. I love that, actually. Any more questions before we go? I feel like I gotta keep putting on lip gloss. No, you don't. I don't need them. No, you don't need them. Oh, Ugh. this is fun, y'all. Y'all gotta watch our YouTube channel. I'm gonna upload this video. I'm so far behind on uploading. But this is dope. It turned out pretty good. I didn't know how it was gonna hey, turn out. Little hearts, little hearts. They love it. They love us. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. So, we'll be back on Wednesday. Maybe this is our thing. Maybe we shouldn't do YouTube. Maybe this is our thing. I'm, like, on Facebook Live, y'all, and I'm recording this for YouTube right here, and then I'm on Instagram right here. Y'all. Also, everybody that's watching it, and y'all follow me, thank y'all for my 50.1K followers. It's uh awesome. awesome. I really appreciate that. Uh you know, started from that one follower, which was him, to my 50K. <sighs> so, if I could get all 50K, y'all to send me a dollar on Cash App, we'd be great. We'll be in business then. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be in business. Yeah, just send a quarter, really. Oh, a quarter. You'll have about 13K at the end. Oh, Puggy. Leaning on and making my shoulder lean up. I already look big. 
I ain't this big, y'all. Mm. It's got broad football shit. people with lawn mowers. You get them for the day. Oh, thank you. I just be hoping a lot of y'all understand that when I don't post, thank you. I be doing mom shit. Or I be sleep. I really be sleep. Like, sleep is my best friend. And I just started keto. Well, partial keto. Because I was scared to go full keto. But I just started partial keto. September, I would do full keto. Um, yeah. Well, you guys, this was fun. You got to go to work tomorrow. So, um. I'm about to watch a three-hour movie. You got on Kim. Girl, hold on. Sit back, back. So, Kim, this bitch, for y'all who don't know, 2 Chains had got married, right, yesterday. And Kim had on this latex green dress. It fit like a condom on a big dick, just tight. And <laughs> Kanye had on a wrinkled up suit with some slides. It looked like he put on North slides. And they went to somebody's wedding like that. Now, I don't know if y'all seen Kim's wedding. Had you come to Kim's wedding like that, I really feel like you would have been escorted out. But she went to their wedding and she went to Pusha T wedding. And she looked a fool. Like, they didn't care how they dressed. A flip-flop is a flip-flop, whether it's $600 or it's 98 cents to come out the swimming pool being at Walmart. A flip-flop is a flip-flop. And you don't wear flip-flops to no wedding. Okay, a whole glow worm. Walking in them folks' wedding like that. And so then I seen the wedding pictures. Everybody looks nice in their wedding picture. Even 2 Chainz' mama, she had on a pantsuit and a shirt or whatever. And the little pants and the shirt. She, that's mama. You know, grannies is old. They don't be trying to wear all that stuff. My mama already told me don't be looking for her no dress when we get married. Don't. She said, don't buy me no dress. And <laughs> in that wedding, like, yes, he did. Like, why would I, why would you do that? That was rude. It was already rude enough you didn't iron. You didn't have your suit steamed or sent to the, and they got money. They got real money. And you come looking like that. Never again. And she thinks she cool. Like, I really didn't appreciate the picture she took with Monica because she looked like, yeah, I'm from the A. No, B, you you, you from Calabasas. You you don't know nothing about the black folks down south. We don't know you. We don't claim you. There was a one-time picture. I'm pretty sure you and Kim won't be, I mean, Monica won't be kicking it like that. I know. I know for a fact. And I don't even know Monica. I just know y'all ain't going to be kicking it like that. What you think? Seen shit, I ain't heard shit. <laughs> <laughs> it sound like a bunch of. So if somebody came to our wedding with a lime green dress on, well, they gotta go. Oh, okay. That way. That way. Mm-hmm. That was cute, babe. Right? That was cute. Mhm. Oh. I'm, I'm trying to be cool. He really don't do social media. Y'all <laughs> just don't know. Like he's a singer. He has really dope music, but. Social media is not his thing. So for him to be doing this with me, y'all, is like freaking amazing because this is not, it's not his thing. Mm-hmm. We holding hands right now. Y'all just don't know it. What are they doing now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you up out of here, you cannot be here. You are not welcomed. You are not welcomed at all. Unless you can't get. I wouldn't kick Kanye out of my wedding. I'm sorry. <laughs> really? We're not going to kick Kanye out? It's Kanye. I'll trade him for anybody else. Okay, we're going to kick Kanye. He, he we probably be, won't, well, I'm but... Just saying, if you been honest, If fine. he come in that... Y'all, these earrings got to go. I was trying to be cute for y'all, but... If he come... Yeah, I feel weird. <laughs> yeah, your cheeks poke out a little bit more. What? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> You don't have to put them back on. You just told me my cheeks stick out. They know we're sitting down with them. Who has on hoops on this one? Me. I'm back. All right, y'all. This was fun. I thank all y'all so much for <laughs> tuning in. Let's give them my model pose. Turn your model face on. Her. Her. Oh. <laughs> 
Yes. But this was fun, y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to the Cam Fam Gang Live. I definitely will be posting some things uh, so we can prepare for the next one. Uh, Wednesday, same time, 10 o'clock. Unless we do it early because the kids going to be asleep, y'all, because they be going to bed at like 7 o'clock on the school night. They be in bed at 7. But yeah, 10 o'clock is good because they give us time to get right. Good night, you guys. Thank y'all. I love y'all. See y'all later.